I literally have no idea what these men are doing wrong in this video. Just existing. <laughs> That's it. Modern women don't like it that men exist. Hey, it's Christine Grace. Welcome back to my channel. Today is another reaction video. Today I'm reacting to a video that is looking at men who are refusing to help modern women. Um, I don't blame them, to be honest. I think a lot of modern women are unfortunately a lost cause. Um, I myself am finding it quite hard to accept this fact. Perhaps I'm living in delusion and hoping that some of them can change. Um, you know, part of me wants to psychoanalyze them as best as I can and, you know, say that it's not willful ignorance. But I think the truth is, is that a lot of it is willful ignorance and they just don't want to change. So yeah, that's my view. Let's see what's happening in this particular video. Let's check it out. <laughs> I literally have no idea what these men are doing wrong in this video. Did they try to talk to you, Bob? Just existing. <laughs> That's it. Modern women don't like it that men exist. You harass you. Did one of them try to maybe record a video of you? Or are you attacking men for simply existing in the gym? Because all I see in this video is a bunch of men and women working their butts off in the gym, minding their own business. Yet you want to make a video to attack their behavior and call them clowns? The only clown-like behavior in this video that doesn't belong in the gym is you. You need to do better. Mind your own business. Why would a man be there? Why would a man be there? No, it's actually pissing me off. Oh my God, it pisses me off. Why would a man be there? Why do you want to be there? Like. Hello, gents. Welcome to this episode. I think you guys have noticed this toxic trend where women in the gym shame men for merely glancing at them. These chicks don't even go to the gym regularly. They just go for attention and filming men for social media clicks, views, likes, and clout. Dudes get labeled as a creep or a stalker or even a weirdo for merely glancing at their direction for a millisecond. The most ironic part is they're crying about a man glancing their way at the gym while they're literally putting their video on social media for thousands of people to stare at. Some have OF pages and for just $5 a month, you can see every angle of her body. Yep. Uh, because of this toxicity, some men have totally stopped going to the gym and they have opted for a home gym. Research says sales of gym equipments have- Good for them. I mean, it's an absolute shame that this is even the case. Um, and as women, we should be disgusted that we're essentially putting men out of the gym. Um, Cause then we'll complain that, huh, how come no men are, you know, well built and you know, we want a guy who's masculine and muscly or whatever. Where, where are all the muscly men gone? Hmm, we've taken the gym from them too. Sword mostly from home fitness sales. Also, the majority of men at these commercial gyms have stopped helping women in the gyms. Let's have a look at some few videos. All right, you guys. Today, we are gonna be looking at this girl who's training for the Darwin Award. Today, she got stuck under the bar, and last time, she got stuck in the washing machine until her stepbrother helped her out. The safety bars are set low, not as low as her IQ level, but higher than her standards for men. The poor girl looks as helpless as a turtle on his back, <laughs> but the difference is a turtle would never be stupid enough to have his mouth covered while fighting for his life. It looks like the barbell is trying to get her pregnant against her will. The camera and the tripod need to be held accountable for not helping and just looking in her direction. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, but in her in her case, it looks like natural selection took over. No, she just don't need my help. Why I gotta be me for? Back up, back up, back up. I'm in a set, back up. No, no if you're not scared of help her, just go help her. I'm busy. You don't see me doing a set? How about you go help Why, her? Why, just because she has a tripod, you're not gonna help her? No, I'm doing a set. You're not doing a set, so go help her. But she literally asked for someone stronger. And you're strong stronger Can you do more weight Me, because I... Don't fall for it. She's got a camera. Why are you? I tried to help her and so I So there's a lot of niggas stronger than me. No, no, no but... offense, but... <laughs> no, <it's> just... <laughs> yeah. Not much. You're yeah, a big guy, true. bro. You're a big guy. I am glad nobody immediately responded to her. It's the environment that is now created and men, self-preservation is in high demand. A lot of women do not care about lives they destroy with their BS. It's no longer worth it to do mm -hmm. something good only to have it manifest itself into something bad. Don't help this kind of woke women at the gym. Trust me, it's not worth your life, dignity, and face. 
Just leave them alone and give them what they asked for. Also, there was this incident that happened a few years ago where a man saved a woman from drowning and uh, she went ahead and filed essay charges. The article says a 23 year old woman said she would not be dropping charges. She pressed against a man who saved her life after she almost drowned in a pool during a pool party in her neighborhood. Kim Wright said David took advantage of her when she was helpless and she wants justice. Vile behavior. Absolutely vile behavior. No, thank you for saving my life. Oh my. Uh, video that shows David, a 29 year old web developer, uh, pulling Kim out of the water, pressing her chest a few times and giving her mouth to mouth before she coughs back into life will be used as evidence against David in court. Kim is arguing that David should have let someone else rescue her. Uh, she pointed out that he was playing with her breasts and the reason she woke up is probably because of the foul smell of David's mouth. To be honest, when I first saw this, I thought it was kind of a joke, um, but this really happened. If David was a good looking six feet, six figure Chad, this would have ended differently. I honestly think the social contract that once existed between men and women no longer exists. The days where a man should give up his seat on a lifeboat or take any risk to his safety, peace, or freedom to aid a random woman are long in the past. Mm -hmm. There is no reason to help our modern day strong independent. Don't need no man and women, just like they've monetized love and affection. It's time to put a fee on any assistance they may require. Yeah, I think this is just the, the natural way of things now. It, it needs to go this way because there's too much risk f for, for men right now. You know, I hate to admit it. I hate the fact that this is the world that we live in, but we have to stay grounded in reality. And this is the reality. There is too much risk. And the reason it infuriates me so much is because I'm fuming at these women because I wouldn't blame a man for not pulling me out of the water and giving me CPR and saving my life. And the reason that that pisses me off so much is because now I'm less safe because of these narcissistic women. Like before I could have, you know, I could have felt in like safe hands, you know, and know that like, if I'm surrounded by men, like chances are, if something happens to me, one of those men is gonna step in and help me. But now in this current climate, in this day and age, I, I don't expect that. And they, they shouldn't have to feel like they have to do anything for me because they don't know who I am. I could be one of these narcissistic women that's just gonna ruin their life, ruin their reputation. Why should they put themselves in that position? And I'm very angry at the women who have made this world what it is. Chivalry is dead <laughs> and it's women's fault. That's the truth of it. But hey, that's just what I think. Why don't you let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up on your way out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with all of my videos. I've got many exciting things to come, so stay tuned and I'll see you very soon.